Interesting, Juliana, we saw Mikey Tovar seated there. It almost looks like he's bored. What could be going through his mind? What, 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 how, how do you read this? I mean, it's his pro debut. You would think that he would be a little bit more lively. Um, but, you know, it's a very primal thing in their fighting, and he pretty much realizes that it's him or the other guy. It's do-or-die time situation, and you can see that that's really wearing It is strange, but could he be playing possum? And it's playing in the mind of Elias Are Urbina. You ready? He, he gives him the thought. Now, there you go. Faces would be now. We're underway. What a magical night, folks, for those who are tuning in and those who are tuning in later. This is an incredible evening. We've been waiting for it. And I can tell you, Combate Americas has put their best foot forward across the board. You will be impressed. Get the pay per view. It is Urbina in white taking the center of the Haula. Short left catches him. Oh, a glancing left. That one stung. Arbina in the southpaw position. Oh, upstairs. And that's the third leg kick, fourth leg kick that he's thrown. Big knee. And then a little bit of a reaction there by Tovar. That malaise at the beginning of the fight carried in the opening round. And Urbina saying, if he's playing possum, I ain't buying. I'm coming out firing. Tovar is making his pro debut against a total vet. This guy's performed on Dana White's Contender Series. He was on the Ultimate Fighter season uh, 2023. He has his, he trains with the best in the world over at Jackson Winks Gym. So that can be kind of intimidating and I think that's kind of what you saw in the beginning, but it looks like he's starting to find his groove here as the round goes on. Spinning back fist missed. <laughs> Better from Tovar as he digs in to fire that right. And that's what he has to do. He can't wait for, or to be now to set up those leg kicks or set up those hands. He has to act first, and he needs to be the first to keep pushing the pressure on Urbina. We've seen a lot from Urbina. We've seen punches, we've seen left hand, right hand. He's also kicks up and down as well. Multifaceted fighter showing you he's emptying the chamber here early on. Definitely, and he does have submissions too. In June of this year, he won by rear naked choke in the first round. Goes in the gap. So I know he's comfortable everywhere. He's also the longer fighter. Looks very lean. Left-hander holding it back. Southpaw can certainly give you the benefit, but you almost have to be leery from the orthodox fighters. Definitely, and you wonder how many southpaws has Tovar fought in his amateur career? Has he fought a lot of southpaws? Did he know that Urbina was a southpaw because he is a last-minute replacement? Six foot five inches tall as well as another issue, and. Urbina is using that length. Again, this is at a catch weight of 190 pounds. And that's definitely something that I have seen improve as time goes on in Urbina. He's definitely used his range a lot better than I've seen in the past. And I think that that's something that he was working on and, and he's done a great job of realizing that he can be on the outside picking the guy apart the entire time. The ideal world, it would be these guys competing in the middleweight category. It, if you're new to Combate Americas, the lighter classes are where the money is at. They have championships at 135, 145, and 155. But that is expanding in a growing company that in this past year is about to add its fourth world title as well as its first pay-per-view. Things are changing, they're changing quick. And that could mean some action at the bigger weights. Tovar almost seems to be a city. Oh, oh, it's out! The cut and then the follow through, and it stops! You don't have me to say it, you heard it! Lights out! Lights out in South Texas! <laughs> and he dusts off his feet like after the Bulls, done with the Matador. Beautiful job, beautiful head kick by Elias Urbina. And like I was trying to say, he seemed to just be like a sitting duck right in front of uh, Urbina. And I was gonna say, he needs to do something or else he's gonna just get picked apart. And that's exactly what happened. That head kick was the move of the night. I think he threw that head kick at him about 10 times before the last KO. one finally KO. landed. KO. KO. Oh, hold on a second, hold on. Another one, head kick. One, one, two, seven, head coach. Completely flush. And even yes, though Tovar was blocking it, quick. it doesn't matter. It's still gonna leak through. And that's exactly what happened. Just dropped him. He was seeing stars and then just a barrage of punches gets on top and finishes the fight in the first round. And I like to see that. I like to see him finish, go for the kill. That killer instinct has, is something that we're going to see a lot tonight. Tobar was still alert after taking okay. the kick, but the follow through and uh, 
Ladies and gentlemen, this bout concludes with an official time of three minutes, 14 seconds of the opening stanza, damas y caballeros. Este duelo concluye con un tiempo oficial de tres minutos, 14 segundos del primer episodio. Your winner, by way of knockout, el vencedor por knockout, from the RGV, Elias Orbina.